Hey, what's up everybody? So I got the Galaxy Buds Live in and I was super excited when they showed up. I wanted to share the unboxing experience with you, but I got a little too excited. So let me preface this video by saying I've already opened these up. I've already taken them out of the box. I've already connected them to the phone and I've already used them. However, I put everything back in the box and I disconnected it from my Note 20 Ultra. That way we can do everything from start to finish. But let me just tell you, they're amazing. Let's go ahead and dive into the Buds Live. You can see the box right here. We have the Buds right here with some writing on the bottom. Very minimal packaging. Open it up. And in the top, we have our typical Samsung paperwork. It's gonna be like your safety warranty information, basic literature, stuff like that. Go ahead and put it back. We'll get to the Buds Live here in just a minute. Take a look at what comes inside the smaller box. We have a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, no wall adapter because they're counting on you already having a smartphone of some sort, so you should already have a wall adapter. And then you have some replacement ear tips that are actually larger, but I swapped mine out, so these are the smaller ones. I'll show you how that works because they are very unique, unlike any other headphones or earbuds that I've personally used. So here are the Buds Live. The first thing that stood out to me was how compact this carrying case is. Like I love the square design. When you look at it compared to something like the Galaxy Buds and Buds Plus, you can see this is much more compact. This is like a pill shape. They're about the same thickness overall, but this is just way more pocketable. I'm not saying that this isn't pocketable by any means, but this just, I don't know, I, I like the square design. We'll go ahead and take a look at it compared to the AirPods Pro. Again, this is like a rectangular or almost like an oval design. I mean, when you look at them in terms of thickness, the Galaxy Buds Live are a little bit thicker, both extremely pocketable, but again, I prefer the square case on the Buds Live. Now, I would say the closest thing to the Buds Live are the original AirPods. Uh, these are the ones with the wireless charging case, but you can see, very similar. Buds Live are definitely thicker. The original AirPods are a little bit more compact, but again, I, I just love the actual squareness of the Buds Live. I, I really, really dig this case. Now, taking a look at the earbuds themselves, you know, there's a lot of bean jokes going on out there and uh, I can see what you guys mean. I mean, they do kind of look like a bean, but I'm not gonna crack any jokes because after I tried these, all jokes went away because they sound really good. They're extremely comfortable. They have a lot of great features built into them. And we're gonna talk all about that. When it comes to just the aesthetics of the Buds Live, I have to give it up to Samsung because I think they look really cool. Like all bean jokes aside, the Buds Live look really futuristic. And by the way, this is the Mystic Black model. They are available in Mystic Bronze and Mystic Silver. I mean, personally, I think the Black model looks the best out of all three. However, it's going to show the most fingerprints. If you want the least amount of fingerprints to be shown, go with the white model. And if you want something flashy, go with the bronze. So when it comes to that unique design that I was telling you about, it's right here. So this is the actual part that goes inside your ear. This right here. I was trying to put this part in my ear because I'm an idiot, but that's not the part. It's this part. So it's, it's really, really unique. And one of the big reasons for this design is that these are open back style earbuds. I'm not gonna get into too much detail about you know closed back versus open back style headphones. There's a lot of information out there. So just a quick search on YouTube, you'll find a lot of great videos. The biggest difference between open back and closed back comes down to the seal. Closed back is going to give you a tighter seal. Open back is not going to have as tight of a seal. So audio can escape your ear canal and the earbud itself and be heard externally if someone is sitting next to you a little bit more on open back versus closed back. So the AirPods Pro right here are actually more of a closed back design because this part goes inside your ear and then it kind of has a seal around it. Whereas these go inside your ear but there's not a tight seal. So it's allowing sound to enter as well as sound to exit. So I think that's one thing that a lot of people are not considering when they're talking about the noise cancellation on the Buds Live. Of course, the noise cancellation isn't going to be as good as something like the AirPod Pros. And that has to do with the fact that this is a closed back design and this is an open back design. So something to consider. So if you wanna swap out the ear hook or ear adapter thingy, just simply, pop it off like that. It's just like rubber or silicone. So if you ever go to the gym and it gets a little funk on it, or you just think that it's dirty, you can disinfect it with some soap and water or some isopropyl alcohol, and then just pop it right back on. Really easy. Uh, mine's a little stretched out because I stretched it out in the beginning, 
simply because I didn't know what I was doing. What I found is that most adults and older kids will probably be more comfortable with the larger adapter versus the smaller one that comes pre-installed. So just swap them out as soon as you get them if you notice that you don't have that tight fit. All right, so that was a quick look at the Buds Live as well as the unboxing experience. Let's go ahead and get these paired up with my Note 20 Ultra so that way I can show you how to get everything up and running. All right, the first thing we're gonna need to do is grab our Note 20 here. And it should be as simple as just opening this, having it next to the Note. You can see it pop up right here. It's gonna ask me to connect. Let's go ahead and connect it. Now it's going to bring me to the Galaxy wearable app, which is where you're gonna be able to customize some of the functions as well as the EQ settings. And this is what separates the Buds Live from something like you know, the AirPods Pro. It's all the customization that you can do within the app. All right, so we're up and running. We have the Galaxy Buds Live connected to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. We're inside the wearables app. We have our EQ settings here. We have our touch controls, if we tap on that. We have um, different touch and hold operations. So on the left, it's going to trigger active noise canceling and on the right, same thing. But let's say we wanted to switch that up. We could just tap on that and we can choose from Bixby, volume down and Spotify. And then on the opposite side, we have the same thing except for volume up instead of volume down. So if we go into our EQ settings real quick, you can change it from dynamic to clear, treble boost, normal, we have bass boost and then we have soft. I'm gonna leave mine on dynamic. And you can turn on and off the active noise canceling right up here at the top. We have battery levels. So one thing I recommend doing is adding the Galaxy Buds Live widget to your home screen. So what I'm gonna do is add a widget to this blank page, which is to the right of my main page. Just touch and hold and then tap on widgets and then look for Galaxy Buds Live. And what I'm going to do is add the battery info widget, but there is the quick control widget as well. But I want access to the left, right, and battery case at all time. And then it's gonna bring you to this menu. So you have the option to match with dark mode or not. Um, if you do not match with dark mode, you can have a white background or a black background. I'm gonna go ahead and match with dark mode. And you can also adjust the background transparency. Hit the back button and boom, there's my widget. So I'm gonna drag it up to the top here. Unfortunately, you can't adjust it and make it any bigger. I wish you could. I'm not sure if you were using a third-party launcher, if you would be able to resize the widget or not. I'm sure it's possible. But if you touch and hold, you can see there's no resizing options. And if you go into widget settings, it's gonna bring you back to that main page. So let's go ahead and dive back into the Wear app and take a look at what else we have. We have um, the ability to read notifications out loud through the Galaxy Buds Live. So it will read your incoming calls, your messages, and you can also assign third-party apps as you download them, as long as it's supported with Buds Live. Uh, we have labs, which are going to be kind of like beta test. You have a gaming mode, and then you have relief pressure with ambient sound, which according to the description will prevent any stuffiness that you may feel when not using A and C. So if we go back, we have some advanced features here, like the ability to wake up Bixby using a voice command and seamless earbud connection. Seamless earbud connection allows you to use your Galaxy Buds Live with any device that's paired to your Samsung account without having to disconnect them from one device and move them over to the other. In other words, if I were to take like another Samsung phone that I own right now and then power it on, these Galaxy Buds Live will automatically be available on that other device and I don't have to disconnect them from my Note 20 in order to use them. Hopefully that makes sense. So bouncing out of advanced, we have find my earbuds. Kind of common sense, but let me give you a quick demo. If I take my buds live and put them there, then hit start. See if you can hear it. Getting a little louder. Kind of sounds like a bird chirping. So once you find them, you can just put them back in their case and then tap stop. So pretty simple stuff, but very useful. Go ahead and bounce out of find my earbuds, go under general. So we have a reset option in case you wanna do a factory reset. And then we have the user manual. And then we can update the firmware on our Buds Live uh, just by tapping download and install. But I know I already have the latest version, so no need to. And then we have uh, tips and user manual and then some information about the earbuds. So there's one more thing I forgot to show you. If you go back under touch controls, you have the option to block touches. So why would you want to block touches and what exactly does that even do? 
So the Galaxy Buds Live actually have touch controls right around here. If you double press, for instance, it might skip to the next song. If you do a triple press, it might play the previous song. When you turn on block touches, it basically turns off that touch sensitive area so you don't get any accidental presses or trigger anything that you don't want triggered. I like to do this whenever I'm trying to get the right fit and swap out the ear tips, or if I'm just trying to learn the correct placement for the earbuds. So yeah, that's a quick look at the Galaxy Buds Live, how to set them up, and what the actual app can do. So the Galaxy Buds Live are actually one of my favorite earbuds right now. Granted, I'm not an audiophile and I don't own a ton of true wireless earbuds from other manufacturers, but out of the ones that I've tried and the ones that I've owned, these are my favorites. I mean, it mostly comes down to battery design and comfort. Don't get me wrong. The sound quality is still pretty legit. It's definitely better than the Galaxy Buds Plus, the Galaxy Buds, and the original AirPods. However, when comparing the Buds Live to the AirPods Pro, it's not as clear cut. It all comes down to what I've previously stated regarding closed back versus open back. In fact, the real comparison would be between the original AirPods or the second generation AirPods versus the Buds Live, which in that case, the Buds Live are significantly better in almost every way. The new 12 millimeter drivers on the Buds Live definitely help. They deliver a clear listening experience that's better than the AirPods and Galaxy Buds and with more bass than the AirPods Pro. Unfortunately, at high volume levels, the mids and highs do start to become muddy with slight distortion, which is not present on the AirPods Pro. Of course, the EQ settings can be adjusted in order to reduce the distortion. I would say the AirPods Pro are best for listening to music while the Buds Live are more natural sounding when adjusted correctly, making them more suitable for audio editing and maybe even monitoring. Um, ANC works the best on the AirPods Pro and the transparency feature is really cool too. But people need to understand that ANC isn't going to work the same on open back style earbuds or headphones. There's no tight seal like you get with closed back style earbuds, such as the AirPods Pro. I mean, technically speaking, it's nearly impossible for ANC to actually function as good on open back earbuds like the Buds Live versus closed back like the AirPods Pro. The Buds Live uses a triple microphone system. Two of the mics are beam forming. All three mics work to focus on voice and are assisted by an inward facing voice pickup unit. Basically, it's an accelerometer that can detect jawbone movements, and it uses bone conduction technology to convert vibrations into audio signals. On top of all that, it assists with reducing room or background noise. Here's a quick listen to see how they compare against one another. Uh, let me know in the comment section which one you think sounds the best. All four were shot on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Pro Mode camera. So here's a quick example of what the microphones sound like using the Buds Live. Um, it should sound a lot better versus the AirPods Pro that I showed in my previous video on tips and tricks. So uh, this is actually a lot lower when it comes to the microphone level, so I was able to keep it at zero. So here's a quick example using the AirPods Pro to give you an idea of what the microphone sounds like on these using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I turned the levels all the way down uh, to negative 12, so hopefully that kind of balances things out versus what I did last time. So here's a quick example of what the Galaxy Buds Plus sound like, or Galaxy Buds, pretty much the same thing. So I have the original Galaxy Buds in now, and I'm able to still use it with the Pro Mode on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So let me know how it sounds. So this is the last little test. I actually have the second generation AirPods in now. Um, what I did was I decreased the mic input level in Pro Mode all the way down to negative 12, like I did with the AirPods Pro. So this should sound pretty good. Uh, let me know which one sounds the best to you out of the four. Comfort is very subjective, just like sound. What's comfortable to me may be uncomfortable to you. So I suggest trying the Buds Live in store if at all possible. Uh, technically speaking, the AirPods Pro for me are a little bit more comfortable than the Buds Live, but the Buds Live are a very close second. What really puts the Buds Live ahead of the AirPods Pro, in my opinion, is how they look inside the ear. They're a little bit more subtle and not as offensive, making them easier on the eyes and definitely not in your face like AirPods Pro. The battery life has been excellent and matches or exceeds the AirPods Pro. The Buds themselves are rated for six hours of typical use and four and a half hours of talk time. Popping them in the case will charge them, which equates to one hour of use for every five minutes of charge. When combined with the case, you can expect around 29 hours depending on your usage. In comparison, the AirPods Pro deliver four and a half hours of typical use, 3.5 hours of talk time, and up to five hours of use if ANC and transparency is turned off. Uh, when combined with the case, you can get up to 24 hours of listening time, and just like the Buds Live, five minutes of charge equals around one hour of use.
What's great is even if the buds and the case die, you can use the wireless power share feature on your Note 20 Ultra to charge them. Uh, this of course will work with any wireless earbuds that have uh, Qi wireless charging on board. Um, AirPods Pro are included. So it's not limited to the Buds Live, but it's still something cool to talk about. Functionality wise, the Buds Live are quite a bit better as I showed earlier. Uh, plus many of these features are available on iOS with the Galaxy Buds app. You can customize the touch controls, EQ, and even have the ability to toggle on and off ANC. While AirPods Pro can be used on Android, it's not the same experience that you get on iOS. The only thing that's missing from the Galaxy Buds app is the gaming mode under the lab section and the ability to read notifications. So really you're getting all of the main functionality out of your Galaxy Buds on iOS. Lastly, the Buds Live feature an IPX2 rating versus the AirPods Pro IPX4 rating. Neither are waterproof and really even water resistant for that matter. They are splash resistant and sweat resistant, but the AirPods Pro have a little bit more protection in various angles. It's really not a huge difference in my opinion, but still, I guess it's important to mention. So the Buds Live come in at 169 bucks. The AirPods Pro are 159. The Galaxy Buds Plus are around 100 bucks and the AirPods Pro are 249. When looking at these prices and going by performance to dollar, you can see why the Buds Live have quickly become my favorite pair of wireless earbuds. I just think there's a lot of value in them, but what do you think? Let me know down below. If you feel like picking up any of the wireless earbuds that were talked about in this video, you can find links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see your wonderful smiling faces in the next one.